I will talk very loud and very fast because I have less than five minutes from what I was promised, so I'm throwing out the PowerPoint presentation. I talk pretty quick and I apologize. If you don't understand anything I say or if anything seems confusing, I'm leaving this here. Send me an email, I will respond. It is a busy time of year. That's probably going to be the best way I can get back to you. My name is Dusty. I also respond to hey you, if you forget that. I am the university's training coordinator. Has anybody worked at the University of Idaho before as an employee? That is, you got a paycheck from payroll and those wonderful folks at HR. Cool! So we may have already met, you may already hate me. That's okay. <laughs> this is for all the new people. Well, I think I just actually put Starship Troopers. Um, <laughs> you will receive an email from our office as your employee status becomes active. You will receive an email from a robot that has my name attached to it. And it will say, hey, you have 30 days to complete this new hire required training. It will consist of six chapters of content for this coming year. Uh, you'll have 30 days from the date that that robot contacts you. After that, the human Dusty will take over and start doing an audit and follow up with you. And like, hey, I just looked at the grade book at, in Canvas. It'll be deployed to Canvas. It looks like I still need to complete the training. Can I help you? And at that point, you should reply immediately and say, yes, Dusty, I need help. Or no, I completed that training. Leave me alone. And we'll help you. So everybody who's returning, you'll be assigned the training September 1st. And you only have to do five courses instead of six. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, okay, at least three of those are new. Um, you'll have until November the 18th to complete those. Uh, and again, same thing. You will receive an automated enrollment from the robot that has my name attached to it. And then I will take over as a human being trying to help you. Your unit leaders, that is your dean, your assistant dean, your EEO, AA compliance officer, and probably your supervisors will also be tapping you on the shoulders to make sure you get those trainings completed in time. It's not to punish you, it is to protect you from everything that was just talked about will be recovered in those trainings. Uh, and hopefully, if you have any questions, again, you remember to email me here and I can help you. Whether if you can't have access, you don't understand something on the content, you can't remember anybody who talked to you at all during this graduate uh, institute, I can help you find them. Okay. Sound good so far? Mm -hmm. I, see, I see some head nods, a thumbs up. Good, good. Any questions? And they could be about anything, and I could try to help. Yes, sir? What, is, what does EDL stand for? Employee Development and Learning. Uh, so we are your resource for professional development. Uh, there's a whole website as well. It's called gosignmeup.com. Uh, you as employees will have access to everything listed there, which includes your safety trainings if you're working in laboratories, if your professor's going to make you drive vehicles for field trips, if you are going to be doing anything related to radiation or any of the other fun stuff that happens on a university campus during your research work, uh, all those safety trainings will be there. If you are supervisors, if you will be supervising a flock of undergraduates who will be working with you as employees, there will be supervisor training there as well. There's also professional development trainings. I don't know how to talk to my kids from you know some other economic, socioeconomic background. I don't know how to interact with other professionals in my field, I don't know how to use Microsoft Excel. Um, we have a whole host of things out there that I can help get who you all hooked up with. Uh, again, just email me here, tell me what you're looking for, and I can try to, if I don't have it in my inventory, we've got somebody on campus who can help you out. I will be sorry in advance if I fail you and I can't help you personally. <laughs> Great question though. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Yeah. How long does the training normally take? Sir? Normally it should take two hours. Okay. I have done it just because I'm forced to take it 19 to 20 times more than you all, trying to break it every single way possible. Um, but I've managed to do it in about an hour and 25 minutes or so, but that's because I've taken the quizzes enough, I can know which answers to select and get through it faster. It is, is broken up in a way that, again, new people get six courses, returning employees get five. You can do one course, and they're broken up to be about 20 minutes a pop. It will save your data in the Canvas system, so on the cloud, and then you can come back to it. So you can, you don't have to sit down and do that two-hour two chunk at one go. I did when I was in your seats because it just made my life easier, and I forgot about it until the next year. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I only have 20 minutes. I'm going to do this while I'm on my lunch break today. Get the first one knocked out. You know, tomorrow I'll do the other one, or maybe tonight when I go home I'll do another one. And you can just get them X'd out and done. So, great question. Anything else? Hey, look at that. I did it with 10 seconds to spare. <laughs> All right. Well, again, I'm Dusty, or hey you, edl at uidaho.edu. And if you have any questions at all, I'm not just your training coordinator. I'm also here for you, part of the Vandal family. So ask any questions at all if you're too nervous to approach anybody else who's been up here today. Thank you. You've been wonderful.